COVID-19 case numbers continue to rise all over the Rio Grande Valley. CBS4's Bryce Helms spoke to a health expert to see why some counties are seeing more deaths than others. The death statistics are going to lag the number of new cases by probably two to five weeks. During the summer, COVID cases peaked in Cameron County with 1,400 new cases on August 2nd. One month later, Cameron County recorded 68 deaths in one day, its second worst day of all of 2020. What's happening is if a person gets COVID, uh, usually they're sick for weeks, or maybe even sometimes I've had patients a month or two before they die. Most people who die from COVID-19 do so in a hospital. They're there because they need the advanced treatment a hospital provides. If we can prevent people from getting hospitalized in the first place, then that's definitely going to make a difference to the overall mortality. Over the past week, Hidalgo County has averaged a little over nine deaths a day, while Cameron County has averaged four and a half. The reason Hidalgo County is almost double that of Cameron County is because Hidalgo County started seeing an elevated number of COVID cases back in November that Cameron County didn't start seeing until late December. One way Cameron County is trying to lower the mortality rate of COVID-19 is by offering patients with comorbidities monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies are lab-made antibodies that help your immune system fight off COVID-19. They are given as soon as possible after a person who qualifies to receive them tests positive. It'll decrease their risk of getting hospitalized. Well, if they didn't get hospitalized, then we, we'd save some of those people's lives. Working for you in Harlingen, I'm Bryce Helms. Health experts urge the public to not wait for the number of deaths to start spiking to return to following CDC guidelines more closely.